For the last 10 years, Art Zone with Nancy Guffey has been featuring artists of different mediums from the Northwest and beyond, encouraging audiences to find new favorites in the changing art scene. Nancy's here today to look back at the last decade. We saved these cocktails oh because gosh. 10 years, cheers, 10 that is years. amazing, especially in TV. I, I mean, that, yeah, we mm. have to sip because we said cheers. Oh man, that's delicious. Um, it is delicious, and 10 years is a really big deal. 10 years is a, a darn big deal. Yeah. yeah, we're really excited about it. It's hard to believe, actually, yeah, that we've so been on that long. How did Art Zone come about in the first place? Okay, so the, the, the nutshell story is that uh, in the early 2000s, I came up with the idea of doing a tiny little show called City A Go Go. And it was a five-minute show, two tiny profiles on artists, a tiny calendar of events. So I borrowed the money from my dad to make the pilot, which I paid him back. <laughs> and uh, we made the pilot, and then um, that kind of morphed eventually into um, arts pro programming on the Seattle Channel, because it was an interstitial on Seattle Channel and KCTS 9 on PBS. And, and then eventually uh, the, the Seattle Channel wanted to do more arts programming, and they said, hey, do you want to develop you know, Art Zone? So that, that's how it happened. So that we went on the air. The first one was in, there I am right there, in 2008. And yeah. the people that you have interviewed over the years, I mean, I don't know if there's anyone in the Northwest who's in the art scene that you haven't covered, but one of the things that I think is so neat about celebrating this 10 years is hearing their perspective mm -hmm. on you mm -hmm. and on why this show is so amazing. Mm -hmm. And Chris Ballou, who of course, President of the United States of America, America and Casper Baby, Baby Pants. Pants. Yep, he, such a talent. He said that it's your ability to connect hmm. with the artists that you're interviewing. Has that been your truest joy in this experience as well? By far. I mean, what drives me the most in my life is, is authentic connection with other people, to see other people, to be seen by other people. And I think doing Art Zone and, and focusing on artists, it's, it's super joyful to get to look at someone, whether they're a painter or a dancer or a filmmaker or whatever, yeah. musician, and, and basically say to them, we see you, I see you, we see you, what you're doing is important, and we want to be able to help you get that message out. Most artists aren't gonna necessarily make it big, quote unquote, like Chris, right? but um, that doesn't mean what they have to say isn't as important, and, um, and so we want like, their voices to be heard. Yeah. yeah, okay, so now is like maybe the most difficult question that's mm -hmm. ever been posed. What are um, just a few of your most memorable moments mm -hmm. over the past 10 years? Right. I know it's so hard to narrow I it down. I know, and we were chatting a little bit earlier before we were on the show that um, it's often about the, the connection with the people, mm -hmm. right? That, those are what, that's the real juice for me. That said, um, I did interview Dame Edna, which it, you know is Barry Humphreys, um, a man in drag, but it's not really in drag necessarily. It's an interesting character. He was coming in ta through town on his last glorious last tour. I got to uh, interview um, her at uh, the Moore Theater. I literally could not control myself. <laughs> She had me on, there she is, yeah. had me on the floor. I mean, just, I was barely getting, I, mean, I was laughing so hard. So that was a super wonderful moment. Um, I got to, um, I've interviewed a few people at my house. We do kind of a long form interviews at my house and I interviewed Duff McKagan at my house. What a great guy, what a, what a big hearted, humble guy. He's been through it all. He knows he's not all that, you know what I mean? So he's a really interesting interview because of that. He's in touch with his humanity and yeah. his, the fact that he's survived. McCready, Mike McCready, another mm -hmm. one. And, um, and I recently interviewed uh, the fil filmmakers of Big Sonia, the film about Sonia Warshawski, who was a uh, Holocaust survivor. And that was a very powerful interview. The, fact, the way they made the film, and then the, I had the opportunity to meet Sonia, and um, there was something about that that was, was amazing. So those are a few, you know, those are just like moments that like stand out, but there's, a, there's a, plenty of them that are, are out there. Well, and I bet that after all of this time, you even probably forget some things until oh. you're reminded of it because you're constantly meeting new people and seeing their art. And Totally. They're, in fact, we, we put together this like segments, like a seven minute kind of uh, history of um, Art Zone that's going to be in our first show that airs tomorrow. And there are things in that, there's tons of clips, and I'm looking at it going, that's me, and yep, I was there, but <laughs> I don't remember it, you right. know. Maybe I had had too many of these or well. something. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, there's so much, and you probably find that too. I mean, in all the years you've been doing evening and all the interviews, you do forget. So yeah, I don't remember everything, but um, somewhere it's tucked away. Yeah, and then this is a great walk down memory lane for you too. Absolutely, it's delightful. What yeah. do you think that the success of your show and the longevity of your show says about our community and how we feel about the arts in general? Well, I think Seattle is an arts town, and it's very strong in a lot of different genre. Obviously. Um, uh, theater, music, uh, dance, and film. I mean, it really literature. Um, so it says that we are a, a very sophisticated town in that regard. It says that um, uh, the artists are 
you know, for the most part, trying to stay here, um, and um, and people want to want to see uh, things about artists. They want to read things about artists. They want to experience artists, in, you know, their work in person. And I also want to give a really big shout out to the Seattle Channel because this show wouldn't exist anywhere else. Yeah. Nowhere else in our community uh, is there a lot of local program. There's obviously things at King, mm -hmm. but not a lot going on other than that. So the Seattle Channel has put really you know laid laid it down for for Art Zone and really been supportive not only as budget but just um, kind of psychically and, and you know kind of emotionally as well so um, I think this town is a it's a it's a rich cultural pot yeah you know? and it gives you the opportunity here's some other artists that have been on your show yeah. oh, over the yes. years yeah the but, gods themselves <laughs> yeah a great band but you I think have said that art is not a luxury it no. does so no. so what does that mean um, I think there's an idea that like, oh, art is neat, or oh, that's fun, that, but, we, but it's not needed, it's not necessary. And art is necessary because we, no, first of all, no one wants to live in a city where there isn't a rich uh, artistic and cultural scene. It right. draws people here. That's an economic piece, so let's let, you know, focus on that. I'm not an economic, uh, economist, but I understand that art does bring people here who spend money. Um, but I think kind of for our own personal selves and who we are as people, art speaks to us in a way that is beyond words often, and it can make us see things differently, broaden our horizons, uh, maybe change our view of somebody or something. And how that, how do you measure that in terms of a quality of life or how a changed person then, what, what do they then add into into the, the conversation in, in society, in, in the local community. You, you can't measure that, but it's real. It's absolutely real. So um, I don't think we're better people. We're better people with artists um, living and breathing around us. And um, yeah, that's the best I can say. We it's are, true. Yeah, and yeah. thank you so much for showcasing them all of these years. Oh, well, I'm delighted to do it. Thank you so much for having yes, me Yes, and anyone who hasn't met Nancy in person need to know that <laughs> who she is on TV is who she is in person. A total goofball. Which is not always the case. <laughs> you are a joy and a light and a treasure oh, for our community. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. And thank now you, you can drink some Oh, more. I'm just going <laughs> to guzzle this baby down. I mean, it is 11 o'clock. <laughs> you can catch Art Zone with Nancy Guffey on Fridays. 8 p.m. on Seattle Channel and the Big 20th is tomorrow. Yeah, 20th. Oh, 10th, yep. sorry, 10th. 10th. Oh, yeah, right, 10th. On the 20th. 10th, 10th on, the on the 20th. On the 20th, there That's we right. go. Right. Cheers. cheers. And cheers to all the viewers, right? Yes. All the great artists out there as well. Very cheers, true. Cheers, cheers. All right, when we come back and look at the recent health concerns surrounding vaping, what you need to know is coming up next. Oh, I'm going to have a drink on it.